Good morning, Finley Dreamers. Good morning, Mrs. Adams. And good morning, Finley Scholars. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Good morning, Finley family. Good morning, Mr. Kirby. And today we have on Allison and Isaiah and Mason from kindergarten. They are ready to go. And I was talking to students who were coming into the building today and asked the question, what's been a success this year? And Mr. Miller, of course, I asked that question because I watched your video with Kiki and Diego on our newsletter. I hope all of you get to see that in your classes, virtual or in person. And I was so impressed with what Kamarie and Diego said about their successes this year. So Heba told me that she learned a lot about ocean animals. And that was something that she's going to remember about first grade. So this is the time of year, even though the year is ending this week, not the year, but our school year is ending this week. It's a really good time to think about what have I learned? What do I want to remember? And um, maybe thank the people that helped you learn that. So, Mr. Miller, thank you to you and to Kamarie and to Diego for helping us think about successes and what a great job we have all done this year. Well, thank you, too. And we also want to remember this because we've been working on it for a while in Success Council, pop tabs. We have so many out there that here's what I would like to do with them today. We'll have some fifth grade cool kids at a certain time today. Come get them from your room so we can put them all together. So we can see them perhaps on the morning meeting tomorrow. The, the number, the amount is going to be huge. So we appreciate all of you out there giving and thinking of others. You have such empathy and we really appreciate it. And talking about Success Council, we have Isaiah and Mason on here to talk about what successes they have in their kindergarten classrooms. Isaiah, can you name a success or something that went well this year in your classroom? What was good was they followed the rules and been kind of. Right. And again, we could all say this about you. That's why you're in Success Council, being a role model following the, the directions in the classroom. I mean, we couldn't pick a better person from your room to demonstrate that every single day here this school year. And kindness, too, goes along with who you really are. Thanks so much, Isaiah, for giving us that success from your classroom. Mason, what about you? What's the success from Mrs. Comparo's room this year? Did you turn your mic on? Are all the kids in my classroom for being quiet at level zero at a certain time. Wow, you sound like... Just what we said before we got on this meeting. Exactly. There's certain times we say things and participate, engage in our learning, and there's certain times we have to be at level zero, especially in the hallway. So I've seen that many times from your class. You're a good model for the entire school. Thanks, Mason, for that great statement from you. We really appreciate it. I'm grateful to have kindergarten students talking about the successes from their school year this year, a year unlike any of us have known before, but they are successful. And so are Finley students. And you know, we continue to work toward uh, our learning 
and helping each other. And we have some people in the community that want to support our learning all summer long. So I haven't shared this news yet, but we have this to look forward to. This week, our friends from the Des Moines Public Library and Principal Financial have come together and they want to send every student at Findlay home with some books because they know that learning continues no matter whether you're at school during the day or at home in the evening or all throughout the summer, you can continue that learning and that reading 20 minutes a day. Our Northside Branch Library is right up and around the corner and they've got great programs all summer long. So they've also sent that information. So we know that the learning keeps going and continues on for the lifelong learners here at Findlay. And we know that's important, right? Mr. Wow. Kirby, the virtual students get books too, right? That's right, that's right. And virtual students probably know, they've discussed with their teachers, that they'll be returning their laptops and any of that school equipment uh, that they use to access their classes online this year. And when they do that, they'll also be able to pick up not only their books, but if they haven't been um, to pick up anything from the John Deere Financial Store, they can also do that at this time. So any other end of the year business or housekeeping or things that need to be uh, returned to school can happen like that. And then when they do, they'll get their books from our partners. Thanks for the reminder, Ms. Adams. Now, I feel like it's probably time for a shout out. Allison, what do you think? I have a shout out. Shout, shout out. out. I have a shout out to my classmates being nice to each other. Excellent. We always love to hear that. And it's especially encouraging when somebody in your class is encouraging the other students in your class. I think it means a lot more than even if I said, hey, way to go being nice, right? And that community, collaboration, support for your peers, all of that is so important. And it's important that we continue to do that and look toward the future to continue to do that because someday you may find yourself in college. That's right, where all of that will pay off. So I can't imagine a better time for a college cheer than right now. One, two, ready, go. Two, four, six, eight. When the fifth grade graduates. 20, 20, 2032. Two, four, six, eight. When the fourth grade graduates. 20, 20, 2033. Two, four, six, eight. When the third grade graduates. 20, 20, 2034. Two, four, six, eight. When the second grade graduates. 20. 